uh, going through our showgirl kits is something that I love doing with my mentees. So let's look in the bag of wonders. Mmm, smells like 5,000 shows. What do we have in here? Oh, first of all, there's a girl um, looking in the mirror while eating chicken, because you know, looks are important. First thing, I have a whole bunch of uh, bobby pins. Always bring more bobby pins than you think you need. Also in the bottom of this container are some extra loose rhinestones that I might glue on my face for certain makeup looks. I have some eyelashes. There's definitely more than one pair in here. You wanna keep them in a box. I like to reuse this hard um, surface plastic box instead of the collapsible ones that some eyelashes come in uh, because of course it's going to last longer in my bag and I can toss it around. This is definitely more than one pair glued together which is a beautiful drag queen showgirl trick. Uh, I have my hairspray in here because I don't want to forget it. It's something that I do often forget backstage. Thank you to everyone who ever lent me their hairspray backstage. Um, I've started using an alcohol-free hairspray. If you are doing burlesque in the long term, I recommend this. My hair used to be fucking beautiful, virgin locks. I could, you know, wring it through the dryer and it would come out shiny on the other side. Now, after 10 years of doing this shit, um, it is broken, it is sad, it is like a dog kicked it on the floor. So the alcohol-free hairspray, I find, really does less damage, um, but holds just as well. I'm like, I've been really, really happy with it, so I'd recommend that. Um, another way to protect your hair is just to rinse it right away after a show. So just like you don't want to sleep in your makeup, you don't want to sleep in your hair products. That's something um, the hairdressers really recommended to me. Um, I have a box of fake nails because they always fucking pop off right before you're about to hit the stage. You've got your beautiful manicure, definitely don't now because we don't have any nail salons. But normally I got claws. And if one of them breaks or one of them pops off, I always bring some extras that I can um, glue on in that scenario. And then down at the bottom of the bag here, I should have some super glue, yes. So super glue is what, oh, this is actually ultra quick nail glue, which works really well too. But super glue or um, a nail glue that's actually like in a bigger bottle like this uh, is, much better holding power than the tiny little um, nail glue that come with the kits like this. So you want you want to have a stronger glue, definitely. I have this beautiful hairbrush that um, I think I've had just as long as I've been doing burlesque, and it served me so well. It is how you brush out curls and get that really sleek look, right? So um, you want a hairbrush that's made for that. So this is a horse hair hairbrush and you want it to be natural hairs that are really fine. That's what's going to give it that really um, silky brush out. Uh, which of course I have with me because I usually do that at the venue after having set my curls at home. I have a couple different kinds of tape for pasties and other parts of my costume. So super tape is amazing. I found it on eBay pretty recently and I've started using it especially for my Merkins or things that were a little bit more worried about staying attached. Um, it is strong as shit. It's really, I find it's just as strong as carpet tape so a lot of people use that but the carpet tape super irritates my skin because of course it's made for a fucking carpet not your skin whereas this is just as strong but it's made for your skin. It does still irritate it a bit um, because there's gotta be some strong adhesives in there, but it's not as bad as the carpet tape. So super tape on eBay, recommend that. And then regularly, which is like gentler on my skin, I use um, fantastic tape, which is toupee tape for, for the corner of the wig. Well, both of them are. Um, so those are my two tapes that I use for attaching things to my body, pasties and whatnot. Um, then of course I have scissors. I like to bring more than one pair of these for cutting the tape and eyelashes and other things like that. So a um, couple pairs of sewing scissors, always important. Tampons, you have no idea how many times I have 
needed these or given these to other performers backstage because they needed them. Really important. Um, I have here some large snaps. So I have these along with a sewing kit because when shit falls apart, which it inevitably does, a snap will often do the trick to make it removable at least temporarily, right? So let's imagine your zipper pops, which is like your nightmare. If you have a couple snaps that you can sew in um, backstage, you, you can probably get away with it, right? So I really recommend having that. Um, I have a comb, right? Because um, depending on the hairstyle, the, the brush out might also require a comb. I have my eyelash glue. I have a couple different kinds of eyelash glue. Um, I don't have my favorite here right now. What my favorite is the Brush On um, Black Eyelash Glue by Duo. I find that one's really good, but these two are fine in a tizzy. Um, I have my sort of backup costume pieces that I wear with lots of different uh, outfits or, or costumes that I have for different acts. My garters, these are the little ones that um, I wear just under my butt crease to give it that nice line. And I wear, because they're like, sil I made them silver and sort of like peachy tones um, so that they would really go with everything. So I can add this line onto my body um, no matter what my costume is. So I keep those with me in my showgirl kit. I have a nail file, very important. I have another nail file with a pointy tip which you can use for all kinds of MacGyvering. I have a hair elastic for after the show when you just want to get all the crazy hair out of your face. Um, I have a mini mirror in case, heaven forbid, you have to put your makeup on or get ready in a closet. You need some kind of backup reflective surface. I have a Sharpie. This is so helpful for lots of things. I've used it for like, um, I don't know, coloring, let's say you're your black heels have gotten scuffed because you've been wearing them a lot on stage, dancing in them. You can use the, the Sharpie to fill in the parts that have worn off. Um, you can also use it to mark your cup uh, backstage if you're drinking um, so that you don't have to keep using a disposable cup. Sharpies are super helpful also for like changing the set list and giving out your autograph. Um, this actually is my autograph pen because it's pink and sparkly. So I always have that with me because I do often sell merch uh, at halftime, at intermission. I really recommend you do that even for small cabaret shows. If you go around and look at people and you're like, hi, do you want to buy my picture? They'll be like, yes, I feel like I have to. And then you can at least cover your taxi fare, right? Um, I also have, uh, as the backup costume pieces, my backup pasties. So obviously each of my acts have their own pasties that go with them, but um, sometimes you forget them, heaven forbid, uh, or I don't know, someone else backstage needs that extra pair of pasties, whatever it is. Again, I have these like silver sort of go with everything pair that I pack with me just in case and they have come in super handy. Also it's if like your after show or your walk around dress uh, is transparent then you have your pasties that you wear under that that aren't your show pasties that kind of thing. Extra pair. Um, duct tape. So a little bit of duct tape, a little roll of duct tape can go a long way. Costume repair. Oh my god. This has come in super handy. Um, props, like like marking the stage. I don't know, like a little, little bit of tape. Never hurt anybody. Um, I have, oh yes, some more um, super glue. Tweezers, super good obviously for plucking, but also lots of different things I've ended up using them for. Um, I have some good luck charms, of course, too. Um, I have <laughs> these pasties that my youngest brother made as a crafting project with me when I was sort of first starting burlesque in my first few years. He was like little, he was maybe like 
six or seven, and uh, he didn't really know what he was doing, but he made these little pasties, and they're, they're super precious to me, so I keep that um, to wish me luck. And I have the walking ear always with me to give perspective. So I have a tendency to get super stressed out backstage and to take things way too seriously, to take myself way too seriously. And so I bring this walking ear as a reminder of how absurd and ridiculous everything is, but most importantly, how absurd burlesque is. And that the idea is we're just there to have fun and, and be as hilarious as this walking ear. Uh, I also, at the bottom here, have all of my metal hair clips, which I use for setting my curls. So like when I was doing my hair for this look, um, I did a curling iron method because I didn't have time to set it too far in advance. And then I clipped the hot curls with these guys to set them. And then when I would get to the venue, that's when I would take the pinned curls out, brush them through, set them into place in this way using these metal clips again, spray the shit out of it and take the clips out. Um, yeah, that, oh no, guys, guys, guys. I have a, like a little other pouch here with some more essentials. Um, so sewing needle and panty liners, right? If it's that day. Band-Aids, oh my gosh. The shit go, gets real backstage sometimes. Or on stage, you cut yourself and you need a Band-Aid. Um, Advil, you know, that can happen. Um, backup earrings, so I have little sparkly studs. Again, for like before and after the show to go with whatever your walk around outfit is. Something that goes with everything. Um, I've got some more extra press on nails. I have, of course, um, safety pins. Super important, again, for all those, those costume mishaps. That's it, that's in there. And then finally I have makeup wipes so that you can take that shit off your face uh, either in the taxi or even before you leave the vet venue if you're ghetto like me. That is my showgirl kit. I hope that was helpful. If you don't already have one, go and put one together now. It's the perfect time you're stuck inside to do this like meticulous organization work and it is going to save your life backstage at shows. Spanx and sparkles. Hi Glitterbugs! Thank you for doing this video. Please tell me what you liked in the comments below, what you didn't like and what you want to see more of. I have so much I could teach in burlesque and I just want to know what kind of videos you would like to see here.